folks from National Grid as they head out across the state to try and restore power is the weather will cooperate for the most part, right, Michelle? Yeah, they're going to be dodging showers, Patrick, and actually looking at some uh, new computer model information here. And we're actually concerned about maybe a slight chance of even some severe weather with some of these bands of rain that come in. And that's very typical on the outer edges, especially the northeastern edge of a hurricane that you can get uh, some thunderstorms that come in and some damaging wind gusts in any of those storms. Now, right now, I'm not finding any thunder, but certainly some torrential downpours. And these have been moving quickly towards the north and west at about to 60 miles per hour as they move through. They've had winds that have been at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. So we see some of the some of this in a Kingston and uh, Narragansett, and it stretches along uh, 95 this morning up through western Kent County and eventually into southeastern Connecticut. We're going to see these little bands of uh, showers and downpours that move through throughout the day. And again, there is the chance that we may see a severe thunderstorm with it. The biggest concern with these today are going to be the gusty winds that are accompanied by them, uh, but it's also going to cause some localized street flooding. Let's go ahead and take a look at the maps here and that street flooding so certainly exacerbated by the leaf clogged and maybe debris clogged storm drains that are in your neighborhood driving through my neighborhood today you could barely see the street covered in the leaves and the branches that came down peak gusts from yesterday topped out at anywhere between 60 and the peak was 86 down in Musquamacut. Warren had a 73 mile an hour gust. New Bedford 61 and North Foster a little lighter at 51 miles per hour. The gusts overall should not be as strong today, but there is a wind advisory in effect until 7 o'clock in the evening. 10 to 20 mile an hour winds gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Right now we're seeing sustained winds in Providence still. You know, fairly windy, 18 miles per hour, 12 in Taunton. Those gusts between 20 and 25. And again, they'll be much stronger if any downpours are moving through your area. It's mild, though. We're in the upper 50s for temperatures, 59 in Providence. And overall, about 60 to 65 between 7, uh, 7 and 9 a.m. with those downpours and blustery conditions. About 716 this morning is going to be your sunrise. This afternoon, Showers, again, isolated thunderstorms, but those thunderstorms could be locally strong or severe. Blustery and mild upper 60s in Hope Valley and Coventry, northwestern Rhode Island temperatures into the upper 60s, too. I mean, a few spots maybe near 70 degrees. I think you know, not raining all the time. There'll be a little bit of sun that tries to break through at times, but brisk, mild, and still unsettled. It's going to be a windy day in Fall River at 69, New Bedford at about 68. There's a gale warning in effect for Narragansett Bay for today. Uh, visibility is going to be very poor in any showers that develop with that southeast wind at 10 to 20 knots, gusts up to 30. We're going to see wave heights still uh, affected by Sandy as much as two to four feet in the bay and 10 feet as you approach the bay entrance. Now those uh, storm surge continuing for today and we're going to be watching this morning's high tide. There is at least a potential here for some minor flooding during high tide this morning, which is at 830 in the morning. I don't think we'll see the sort of flooding that we had yesterday, but some splash over and possibly the need to close some of the local beach roadways again. Seven, they're not closed already. Some of them still are. All right, seven day future cast 69 for today. Showers continue tonight and at least tomorrow morning. And then it looks a little drier for trick or treaters Wednesday evening. Temperatures should be mild this year, at least milder than last year in the 50s Wednesday evening. Let's go back over to Jay and get an update on your uh, jam cam traffic.